Good morning, guys. So I have a great episode for you today. It's all about drywall. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun hanging drywall. I mean, what could be more fun than that? Three days worth of drywall. It's, it'll be interesting, I promise. Why wouldn't it be? It's sheetrock. I mean, it's gonna be interesting for me to hang, I don't know, 50, 60 sheets of sheetrock. I don't even know how many, it's a lot. We'll have a blast. We'll, we'll have a blast hanging sheetrock. Sarah. Are you done with me? I'm gonna go paint. I suppose I'm done with you. <laughs> Ow. That's the most delicate <laughs> Oh wait, you don't have rights to this music. You can't come here. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you find, Sarah? A roach den. Like the mother load is disgusting. He's so cute. Oh no, he's not. There's a huge one that went back towards our laundry room. It's probably setting up and shop somewhere else now. Kill it! Oh my god, kill it. Look at how slow it's moving. D that doesn't make your stomach turn a little bit. No. Like that one. <laughs> <laughs> So when you're sheetrocking, you're supposed to do your studs on 16 inch centers, which means, let me show you. So when you're measuring, you should measure from the center of a stud to the center of the next stud, and it should be 16 inches. As you can see, that's the center. We are not, we are not accurate. Nothing is on 16 inch centers like it's supposed to be. Well, here's the problem. Sheetrock comes in four foot sheets, four foot by eight foot. So you basically want your sheetrock to end up like this. So you can screw here and then have your other piece come here and you can screw in there. So you can essentially screw two sides into one stud. But when they don't line up right, here's the problem you end up with. So now if I put another piece of sheetrock here, I don't have anything to screw to right here. I don't necessarily need supports on the lower end because we'll have cabinets down there. In the middle though will be the backsplash, so I do need some support here. I'm going to go ahead and put another 2x4 just here in this area, which will make that sturdy. And then up here I'm not going to worry about it because that's where my vent hood is going to be. So nobody's ever going to push on that. It's not 100% the correct way to do it, but it's the way I'm going to do it and I think it's going to work okay. Eight foot ceilings are kind of standard, and our ceilings here I think are eight foot, but they're eight foot before the ceiling sheetrock. So we're actually like seven foot, 11 and a half inches, which means this eight foot sheet of sheetrock, I can't just put it up. It's like a half inch too big. So what I've got to do is cut like a half inch off of every single sheet before I put it on the wall. It's kind of a pain. So again, this is not exactly the right way to do it, but it's gonna work for me. And look at that. So I put up the next sheet and it falls correctly on this one.
I missed. That's not very good. That's how it should be. Keep your work sites clean. It really reduces stress. Renovations are an incredibly stressful thing anyway. The last thing you need is mess everywhere to make it even more stressful. Just pick up as you go. It's, it takes a little extra time, but it's so much better on your stress levels. Trust me. She thinks it's weird when I talk to you. Cause it is. These are my friends. What's up? The great thing about you recording me though is I can edit it all out. Instead of having it run against the wall like it was, it'd be neat if it if the spindle stopped here. Well, unless if it were the kind that attached down here, but then that's not really the right style. Do you want vertical or horizontal? I don't know. I really don't know. It's above my pay grade. I think you need to watch YouTube videos. What's YouTube?